Through innovation, we can improve the well-being of all living things. Hello, I'm Francesco Matteucci, one of the European Innovation Council Programme Managers, working within the European Commission to guide portfolio group of research projects and SMEs or startups toward a common goal, towards a common game-changing innovation. I'm the Programme Manager on Advanced Materials for Energy and Environmental Sustainability, Materials and Technology. Environmental sustainability includes a broad spectrum of technologies ranging from wastewater treatment, desalination or the application of circular economy to the different type of materials, processing. I come from 20 years of experience inside the technological innovation. I work in different fields of material science and technology for renewable energy generation or storage. I worked engaging with research communities and business communities for many years. I did different roles. I was a researcher. I was an innovation manager inside corporates. I was a community manager, entrepreneur. And my main experience, what I learned from all the mistakes and all the great mentors I had, is that innovation is a teamwork. It's a multidisciplinary experience where we need to combine the different know-how. And that is why the European innovation ecosystem, we need to make it better. We need to make it more connected. That is why I'm here. I'm here to realize the full potential of the European innovation ecosystem within advanced materials for energy applications and technologies for the environmental sustainability improvement. We need to help to ensure the European support to the European Green Deal. And there are many ways to make it happen. But we need to focus, in these few minutes, I will focus on the importance, on my vision, on the need to set up the energy security, starting from the need to develop new advanced materials. And why I'm here? I'm here because the EIC, the European Innovation Council, it's a novel agency and it wants to be and to improve its being as the one-stop shop for European innovators. We want to facilitate the market uptake of ideas coming from labs, coming from scientists. We work in deep technologies, where deep technologies means everything that is, is problem-oriented, with a strong scientific background and with an ecosystem approach. I repeat, I believe that we need to increase the connections between us. And, uh, and that's why I'm here to help our scientific innovators. And we provide via EIC them what is called the smart money. What does it mean? We don't only provide grant or equity, but we provide the support, the know-how, the network that they need. We do, they do not need to reinvent the wheel. Many times they just only know to to, to get, be networked with the right people that can give them the little trick or the little tip that can enable them the development. That's what it is innovation. Because innovation in the end, it's something that it starts from the great minds, but then it is developed around the group community. And when we know that materials and material science, it's at the foundation of all the kind of technologies and devices, that is why here I want to, to involve you a little bit in my vision on the need in the side of advanced materials for energy application to work developing them without the critical raw materials. What does it mean? It means that we want to develop new kind of materials in order to provide an available, affordable and responsibly sourced raw materials. We can do this in different ways. We can do in a way to enable the circularity of the feedstock, of the raw materials. The other way around, we can develop new kind of more sustainable, less impactful extraction or mining. But I focus on the third option, that is the development of new advanced materials without the use of critical raw materials. Let me make examples on where I'm working on the projects and the startups we are working. We are working, for example, inside energy storage. We can look at the different kind of energy storage. Is it for mobility? And for mobility, we know the future will be electric vehicles. But in the end, electric vehicles are based on lithium-ion batteries. And we need to evolve to develop new kind 
of energy storage for mobility. The same, we know that energy technology will enable the energy renewable transition. And to do this, we have to avoid the mismatch from where we generate energy and where we use. And to do this, we have to develop new kind of energy storage technologies. And to do this, we need new chemistries for the energy storage solutions for days and months called mid long term of the future. Because when we look at the, at the development of the technology, we have to think that in the end, once again, we need to help them connecting. And how are we doing this? How can we develop and enable the development of new advanced materials? We can do this connecting great scientists with a lot of know-how and great entrepreneurs. We need scientific entrepreneurs. And then what can we do, for example? We can enable the use of AI, of artificial intelligence, to enable through materials acceleration platform the automation and the acceleration of the development of new advanced materials. In the end, that's innovation. Innovation is the development of the best technologies to solve problems. We need to do this every day with more effort. That is where I am working. And I am working every day to connect the people, to give the good ideas. Because I strongly believe, as I said, that we need to be humble when we develop innovation. We need to do things. I like to say we need to learn from our mistakes. I like to say we have to fail, but fail fast and go to the next chapter. Because innovation is made of creation, is made of a certain point. What, what is said is that innovators are never happy of their discoveries. They want to do more. And that is why they need the team. We have to bring the ideas, the scientists, and to enlarge around them, spread their know-how with teams, teams that can enable the complex innovation process, people that can enable and help them, saying, hey guys, keep on doing your prototype, but give it to me, I will scale up. I will manufacture it because we need to engage with stakeholders in innovation. We need to speak with customers. That is what we need. And then let me conclude saying in EIC, we fund our scientific innovators via three funding scheme, covering all the range of the innovation journey. And what we do to help with them, once again, we do in two ways, with open calls, no topic prescription, or with challenge-based calls. And we are, as program manager, we are responsible to identify, speaking with the ecosystem of actors, all the kind of real need. And based on this, we set up challenges. I give you some examples. With my colleagues, program manager, we are ongoing with challenges and projects in the field of renewable energy hydrogen, of mid-long-term energy storage, of CCU, carbon capture utilization and nitrogen. And here, this year, in the 2023 IC World Program, there will be two challenges on clean tech. One on energy storage and one on environmental intelligence. What is environmental intelligence? It's once again the demonstration that we need a multidisciplinary approach to combine the data science with the sensors and to enable remediation. We have to remediate at the hazards, at the problems that as human beings we did. Because innovation, as I said at the beginning, has the aim to improve the quality of life of people. So please come to us. Come to us, look at the AC World Programme, apply and be sure if you come here, your innovation will be come through. Thank you very much and see you soon. <music>